Hi, I'm Lisa Elam and I'm at the Footprints Eco Resort in beautiful Culloden, Tobago. We're in the neighboring town next to Mariah where the Tobago Heritage Festival is taking place. It's taking place all over the island but this is one of the main hubs and they do the old time wedding and there's going to be jam bands and costumes and festival and kids and food and all the stuff that you want to see when you come to an island like this. It's not about the resorts. So make sure that you do your research, you grab a rental car because you need a rental car to do this and get your butt in town and go start talking to the people. Left side, stay left. Dying today. I tend to have a little bit of a heavy foot, so I'll try and keep it slow. Just looking around at the dripping foliage, it has almost a southern gothic feel, but you also get that that really kind of jungle aspect that you wouldn't expect on a Caribbean island. It's very jungly, and I think that's probably because it's so close to Venezuela. Those are the sheep. Those are, I thought they were goats. I was informed they're actually sheep. They're just not furry sheep. Every community has its local artisans and this one is supposed to be especially talented. I've heard amazing things. Everyone said they've been driving past this guy for years and he's incredible, one of the best on the island. So, especially in the spirit of Heritage Week, let's go check out an artist. Hey, Jobby. What's going on? Well, as usual, you know, things just have to be best, you know? Yeah, are you ready for me to show me how you do some of your stuff? 13 to 14 years I do in my business here, but I've been doing it from ever since I was small. So I always see my father do good work, like make tops and such, you know. I just love it, so I just decided to do it, and most people support me just because they love my work, so. This is my kind of a color. How much I can add it to my? The I60 I'll give for 45. Oh really? That's yeah. that's so kind of you. Yeah. What do you think? Does it go with my coloring? Yeah, for real. Are you sure? Yeah, Does it make me look like washed out yeah, or anything? So what bring it, no, what bring it up is these. So these here, bring it out a lot with these. It's kind of like a uh, kind of like a Tobago version of a SARS mask. Or Darth Vader. Right. Oh, just please. I mean, what happens, what happens when you rain fall, I normally pull the plastic, so the things... You're going to pull get, the plastic yeah. over so we don't ruin your art? Here, let me help you. <laughs> yeah, nah, it's okay. It's okay. You should keep it inside. You should do that. The ice cream truck just went by, and I, I waved vigorously to try and hail him to come. I want an ice cream cone. Just want to see a girl eat an ice cream cone. Which way do I go? Totally psyched to see a non-American version of an ice cream truck. Stopped off, they have a million flavors, pistachio, rum raisin, coconut, peanut butter, but thank God they've got Guinness Stout. Here's to hoping I can get a little drunk off some ice cream. Oh my God, this really tastes like Guinness. I thought it was gonna be some like dumbed down version of alcohol. Is there alcohol in here? I was totally kidding, this is amazing. Holy, you know what? You don't give this to kids, do you? I mean, this thing really tastes like alcohol. That's unbelievable. I wish I just, mm. It's like having a shot of Guinness. It tastes stronger than Guinness. Well, they say beer is good for your hair, so. Mm. This is getting embarrassing. <laughs>